So I have a big pile of uh, cameras and mics on my workbench here, and these are all cameras that I've used in the past and that I still use, but this video is mostly about the mics, but I'll explain the cameras real quick first. So I have this tablet that I bought on eBay for parts or repair. I paid $10 for it. it. turned out there was really nothing wrong with it. The back had just been put on funny or crooked or something. One of the buttons was sticking and I took the back off, put it back on, and it's been working fine ever since. And this will do 1080p, nothing overly special, but the video quality is half decent and the audio quality is pretty good as well. The phone to record the video at the, mo at the moment has pretty crappy uh, audio quality, but I think that I think the video quality is pretty good. This is the Asus Zenfone Max Plus M1, and it does 1080p, so still nothing overly special, but uh, still a pretty good phone. But like I said, the audio quality sucks, which is what prompted me to do a video about these mics. So I'll go over these cameras real quick. So this is my uh, Canon camera that I bought at a yard sale for $5. And this is the PowerShot SX268S, and it works really well. I've done a video about this camera and shown some of the video footage, so I'm not going to go through much about that. And I have this Fujifilm FinePix XP60. I bought this on eBay about five years ago. I think I paid less than $20 for it for parts or repair. And the only thing wrong with it was this little chip out of the battery door, but it doesn't affect the operation of the camera. It's still a pretty good little camera, and it does pretty decent video, has okay uh, audio quality. I can't complain, I got lots of use out of this, and I could still use it. It's a perfectly good camera, it does 1080p, all that stuff. I bought this one for around $20 also on eBay from the same seller I bought this one from and this is just a newer version this is the XP 120 this also does 1080p and this is a really good camera it does decent video and the audio quality is halfway decent as well and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it works perfectly fine and I have this little camera here. This is the Qualima SQ13. It's a mini sports cam. It has night vision. You can use it as a webcam. It supposedly does 1080p, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it has Wi-Fi, and like I said, it has night vision, and you can take pictures with it as well as video. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention something about these two cameras. They take a similar battery. So I took one of the old dead crappy batteries that I had and I made a dummy battery. So this battery here is just a shell, basically. And I can hook this up to a power supply and run these cameras with no actual battery in it. This one here will actually when it's plugged in, plugged into power, so if I have the USB plugged in, but for some reason this one won't, so that's pretty much why I made this battery up. Then I have this uh, Sony camera. I also got this on eBay, also from the same seller as the two Fuji cameras. So this is a Sony DSC H200. I paid $20 or less for this. I won all of these in auctions. And this does 720p, so this is the only camera I have that doesn't do 1080p. But it still has pretty decent video quality, and the audio quality is actually pretty decent. The zoom's a little noisy, but as long as you don't use the zoom, it's not too bad. And that's basically it for the cameras, so I'll go through the mics real quick. 
And before I do, I'm going to actually put one of these mics on. So I'll do that one first because you're probably not able to hear me very good. The audio quality is probably pretty bad. So <clears throat> this is the Mugig lavalier mic. I bought it on Amazon. I paid $3 and something for it. It was uh, on sale as an add-on item. It didn't come with this clip. It came with a different style of clip, but that broke, so I 3D printed this one, and it works pretty good. But anyway, the body of the mic is all metal. It comes with uh, three windscreens, a cable for uh, adapt, adapting this uh, and a for adapt TR jack, TRS, TRS jack, jack, jack. And this is the original clip for it. And like I said, it broke, so. So I just 3D printed one. And now I'm going to plug this in. So anyway, like I was saying, this is the Mugig lavalier mic. It just came with a... The manual, I'm not, you'd need a manual for a mic, for a mic, but anyway, pretty decent packaging for a mic, even the regular was 20, I'm pretty sure. So that's mic, and then we, and then we have this one, this is also, as you can see, a lavalier mic. This is the package that that mic came in. This was also three dollars and something, and it's an industry standard sound omnidirectional mic. I guess that's the brand name. It came with an extension cable that also converts the TRS jack to a TRS jack. So this is to plug directly into your cell phone. And this one's for, like, computers and stuff like that, if they don't have the TRRS jack. So I'm going to switch to this mic now, and we'll see what the quality's like. Oh, yeah, it also came with a crappy little bag that barely fits the mic, and it has a big-ass windscreen on it. So, yeah, I'm going to switch to this mic now, and we'll look at a couple other ones. Alrighty, so now I'm using the industry standard mic and like I said I bought that on Amazon it was also on sale as an add-on item for three dollars and something and I can't remember what the regular price was of either one of these mics but I think if I remember right I did test this industry standard mic out and I think the mugig sounds better you'll have to tell me in the comment section what you think but I do think the Mugig sounds a bit better than the industry standard, but it's still a pretty decent mic for the price, and if you can get it on sale for, I don't know, $10 or less, it's probably a pretty good option. So I have two mics left. I'm not going to be able to try this one, I don't think, because this is a pretty old mic. I bought this about six or seven years ago. And I used to use it with my uh, Kodak Playtouch, and that camera died probably two or three, four years ago. And this mic is also a goner, I'm pretty sure. I think I might have attempted to fix it at one point, so I might give it a try, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. And this is a clone of a Sony microphone that I bought on eBay for around $2.50. And it was supposed to come with the same jack that these uh, lavalier mics have, but it only came with the TRS jack. So I'm not 100% sure that it'll, it'll work like this with my phone, but I'll give it a try.